Hi, my name is Kelly Eve Kaufman, and I actually would not describe myself as a filmmaker. I always find it hard to describe what I do. Um, and I suppose pertaining to this, what I have currently been busy with a lot is writing work. So I have been writing on a TV series and I've been working on a web series with two co-collaborators, Thea Small and Sarah Summers, called, the web series is called Bougie. And I co-run a platform called Colored Mentality, along with Sarah, my partner. And I also co-direct an NPO called Femme Projects. What am I thinking about during the pandemic? I am at once concerned and excited about future-proofing myself. I believe that the film and TV industry is under like a huge overhaul, especially with um, internet content becoming so popular. And where my interest it is also with using my mediums, my capacity and my access to, to work with the social justice principles that I believe in. Um, so I suppose I'm a multimedia creator. Some of the projects that I have going at the moment, okay, maybe I should just then and go one by one because I'm going a bit fast. So Bougie, this is a web series that um, we managed to get some development funding from the NFF, well, some funding from the NFF for and are kind of doing on a, a smallish budget. Um, and it's about class in Cape Town and we are kind of all our characters are of color and we're kind of looking at the intersections of having access to very kind of bougie spaces but also like the fragility of that kind of position as a middle class person of color but also like the acknowledgement of that kind of privilege so and um, we've been writing on that now during the pandemic and i know one of the questions is how has the pandemic influenced your work it's hard to make work around anything but this current moment because this current moment is so intense and is changing and shifting our reality so i suppose personally um i have interest in satire so i've i've i've, I've been a little satirical and tongue-in-cheek i also recently wrote a piece of fiction for a book called the corona chronicles which was um, a very dystopian kind of piece because i was really concerned about like um state sanctioned violence and how we all seemed to be in such a patriotic moment that it was difficult to say anything critical about the state or about the use of violence um, because of the fears around the virus. So I suppose um, in my work, although I haven't created much on it, I'm pretty interested in dystopia or in speculative fiction because I think that, um, like Nina Simone once said, that an artist's responsibility is to reflect the times. And I always used to believe that. But now I think I believe that it is also to shape the times. So I'm really currently looking at ways that my work both responds to but um, poses different worlds. What else am I doing? We're running our platform called Mentality as we always have been. For context, it started out as a web series, kind of box pop series featuring different people speaking on issues related to colored identity and politics in Cape Town. And then the platform became quite large um, and is now kind of like an online discussion platform as well. So I've been thinking about like, what, what do I want to say and where does my voice sit in this current moment and beyond? Um, so, and working on a bunch of different kinds of projects. Another project that we're working on is like thinking about how to use our our storytelling skills um, interactively. So um, Sarah and I, along with um, some other co-creators, have um, been thinking about making a game that can be played on, on social media where people can um, can start to, to play out the new normal um, and reimagine it together. Um, and so for me, I am keen for and like, just really interested in beyond making content conversations around what the arts is right now and what it can and should be. And I think like we as artists working together with activists and social movements need to, need to decide um, what that is. Um, yeah, and I'm also just thinking about future proofing myself and what are the things I want for the world and how do world, <laughs> worlds, sure, and how do I create that in my art? So, yes, um, that's why I said, like I said, I don't, I, I consider myself like a, 
a, a multitasker, a pathological multitasker that works between various mediums. And ooh, I like the one question of what is the most overrated film of the decade. I can't give you the one of the decade, but I really hated Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think it was like just a piece of trash and I don't understand why anyone even took it seriously. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Bye-bye. <laughs>